Hey y'all, this recipe uses a breakfast sausage, which could be a point of issue when it comes to ingredients. Make sure to read the label, but don't stress too much if there happens to be a little brown sugar or even cane sugar. It is exceptionally hard to find breakfast sausage without at least a little bit. And while that's not ideal, it's also not the same thing as eating maple flavored breakfast sausage. It is a great goal to try to minimize your added sugar intake. And sugar is definitely added when it comes to breakfast sausage. It's also a great goal to be aware of just where it hides generally. But a high quality sausage with a little brown sugar occasionally isn't something to stress too much over. All right, enough of all that, let's get cooking. Begin by heating the sausage in an oven proof pan. That pan's gonna go in the oven, so make sure it is capable of doing that. You're gonna heat that pan over a medium low flame. Cook the sausage for 10 to 15 minutes or until browned. Add the Brussels sprouts and a little oil if needed with a pinch of salt and pepper. Cook for five to 10 minutes or until the sprouts soften. Turn the broiler on and in a medium bowl, add a little salt and pepper to your whisked eggs. Add the sausage and sprouts to the eggs and stir to mix it as much as you can. Then you're gonna reheat the skillet over a medium low heat. Add some more oil to make sure the pan is coated by gently rolling that oil around the pan. Then pour in the egg mixture, spread everything out so it cooks evenly. And cook it for about five to eight minutes until the edges are firm, but the middle is still jiggly. Optionally, you can add a little goat cheese on top before you do the next step. Then move the skillet to the broiler and cook for another one to three minutes until the eggs are set on top. I'm gonna give you my broiler warning. Watch it closely to make sure it doesn't burn. That broiler can go from zero to 100 quick. Cool it for at least a few minutes before cutting. Plate up and dig in.